Hello and welcome. In today's video, we'll be going through a tutorial on how to use the Google Web Designer. This application can be used to make a website banner ad that company can use to promote their product or services. Here are the examples. The first example was found on the JB Hi-Fi website. As you can see on the right hand side and also on the left hand side of the website, there are two Microsoft advertisement that says get three months free, etc. etc. Well, this is the example of a banner ad. Let's move on to the second one. The second example comes from the Gumtree website. As you can see on the top of the page, there is an Adobe advertisement that says make it with Creative Cloud. This is also an example of a web banner ad. I'll show you the last one. The last example I am showing you comes from the Bike Sales website. As you can see on the top of the page, you can see a Harley Davidson web banner ad. And then if you click the advertisement, it will go straight away to the website of Harley Davidson. So after you download the application from Google, you can go straight away, open the application and create a new file. And here, there are several options that you have to insert before you start creating your web banner ad. First of all, I will input the name as Indomie Stripes Corona Advertisement. After you input the name, you can input the location where you want to save the files and then you can choose the dimensions also so that you can create the dimensions of the web banner ad based on your preference and then I choose the ads as banner and after that, we'll click OK. Now you can see here, there's a white blank space that's where your web banner ad will going to be and then you can zoom out and zoom in using this plus and minus button and now I'll show you how to insert your files into the application here you open file and then import assets and then choose the files that you want to insert this is one of the ways to input the files you can also drag the files from your folder straight away into the application now you can see everything is still in its original size and I don't want to see it this big and crowded so I'll just delete them all and see on the bottom right you can see all the files that you have inserted and I'll insert the background now I adjust it to the right place and then I will change the size of the image by going to properties and make it into your preference size of 300 by 250 pixels now I'll try to add the logo picture as you can see it's still too big also so I'll just change it into my preference size and don't forget to click the button in between the width and height pixel options because it will make your picture stay the same when you resize it now I'll add some more of my pictures and I'll show you when it's done so this is after I inserted all of the pictures that I want to show in my Google web banner ad and now I want to put some text on my web banner ad let's do it so because this ad will be about the coronavirus stay at home campaign I will create the stay home text here in the middle go to the text tool click it and then click wherever you want your text will be on the image and then I can center the text and then I will place it wherever I want it to be and then after that here I'll show you how to change the font so on the left part of the application here you can see the font option and then there are some recommendation of the font you can choose but there is also the more fonts option if you want to choose other options of the font for this one I will choose the poppins font and here will be the version of the font you can choose the bold the 
semi bold or the thin one it is basically up to you which one you want to use but for this ad i will choose this semi bold i will create some more text for the image and i will show you when it's done i have readjusted the image positions as well as put some more text the i'll be there for you is a reference to the bon jovi song if you have noticed meaning that the product will accompany you during your self quarantine at home i have also added some hashtag at the bottom right of the ad now we'll add some animations to the ad i will hide all of my layers first and then i will put back the background and also the plate image because i want to insert the animation to the plate image first as you can see on the bottom of the application there is a time frame where you can insert the animation and because i want my animation to be one second long you can right click on the one second border on the plate layer and then you can choose the insert keyframe option you can see the animation will start from zero second up to the one second border now if you click at the starting point of the animation you can move the image to where you want it to be at the beginning of the animation so for me i will move it to the bottom of the background so then the animation will come up from the bottom to the table and don't forget to shift drag the image while you're dragging it so it stays on the same y axis now you can move to the end point of the animation and you can drag the image to where you want it to end you can adjust the position on the properties menu on the right side you can see the line where it starts and then end for this image it will start at the bottom and then end on the table here i will play the animation so you can all see there you go and the last thing i want to do is to make the fading effect on the animation here you go to the starting position of the animation and then drag down on the properties menu and choose the fill into zero and then you click at the end of the animation point and then you change the fill into one now i will show you the finish animation and that's how you create a moving and fading animation now i will also add some more animations to the other element of my ad stay tuned as you can see on the time frame i have inserted all of the animations on the pictures and texts i want to animate so i'll show you how it animate and now i will also preview it on the browser on safari And that's what my banner ad will look like once it is on the browser such as Safari or Google Chrome. Now, the last step in this tutorial, I will show you how to connect your ad to the website that you want to connect it with. Now, once I'm done with all the editing, I will go to the event menu on the left side and then I will press the plus tab and then choose the document.body and for this one we'll choose the mouse and then choose the click and then choose the google ad and you'll see all the options down below but for this one we will choose the exit ad and then the receiver will be the gwd ad now the configuration you have to put the url so for this one i will insert the Indomie website as for the matrix ID I will insert my ID now you click OK now I will preview it again and then now you can click it 
and you see it goes straight to the Indomie website. The website will open on a new tab so you don't have to worry that it might disturb the previous site. That's basically all you have to do to make your own web banner ad with simple animations and hyperlink to another website. I hope this tutorial will help you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask on the comment section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful time despite the situation of the coronavirus right now. I am Satya, and I'll see you again next time.